Hello everyone, welcome back to Doom. I have got back to where... I Look, okay. It's been a couple of days and also I've done this two times already, but I'm pretty sure I died right here and left you all telling you that I would do that off camera. And I did do that off camera. I've just cycled that airlock. Um, I'm assuming I can recycle it. Not in the... You know what I mean. Um, but I don't really think I want to, so I'm not going to. Oh, let's um use this. I quite like this... Uh... I like this weapon select mechanic. I died. Um, <laughs> I like this weapon select mechanic because of the way that it slows the game down. It's quite cool because pausing the game completely, somewhat like Fallout Pit Boy style, is. It mean it it takes away from the idea that your character in real life in this situation would be, you know, um, distracted trying to figure out what to do correctly. I've got weapon upgrade points available, which I might want to spend. And um, we are looking at... I don't know. So this is our... Okay, we can't do anything to these. We have to spend more to upgrade our pistol. And our shotgun does have two upgrades, one of which I haven't then upgraded. So I... Honestly, I'm preferring the idea of upgrading the explosive shot properly than to start using the charged burst at all, basically. I mean, I guess we could use it. I can't even remember how to change between them. Is it right mouse button? No mod equips because that's not our shotgun, that's our shotgun. Uh, explosive shot. So, I think we'll use the explosive shot somewhat semi-exclusively. Which is kind of fun, so I'm okay with it. Um, try and upgrade that to a sensible degree. Save up to upgrade that is basically what I'm suggesting here. Will you stop taking so much damage? And, um, okay, this is locked by some magic. Uh, rather than trying to go for a, a balance of all the things when I'm only really using one at a time anyway, which is kind of how it works. Doesn't really need explaining in such great detail. Let's uh, wander around. What was I just saying? Yeah, your character in most situations is probably going to be thinking about it's going to spend some time thinking. Um, being a seasoned professional, presumably he's going to spend less time thinking than I would. Here we go. Is that that one? It is. I'm wondering if we can come back to that um, particular door over there at some point, though. Anything behind me? Sounds like something was behind me, but maybe not. Uh, so me as a seasoned professional here... Uh, me am, I was about to say am, is more than capable of selecting the correct thing for a particular situation, but at the same time is still going to think about it. Temporary, like for a small period of time, whereas in something like Fallout, you know, in the original Fallout, by which I mean Fallout 3, you could, uh, great, well done, <laughs> you could literally spend, you could eat like several meals all in one go take all your HP back in the middle of a fight. Uh, I've died several times, probably probably because I'm not really paying attention. Um, so let's uh, let's do what we said we were going to do, which is to switch this to this. Uh, well, we should see what this is like, shall we? That's pretty okay. So the Q key is actually switching between previous weapon if you just press it, which I didn't realize it would do. It's kind of something that I appreciate. I've spent a long time playing um, Bioshock, as I have previously mentioned. Excuse me. Do you mind? Yes, I know. Thank you. Um, which only allows you to carry two weapons in the first place. Meaning that I've got a little bit used to the idea of just pressing A button to switch between weapons. Did that hurt me? No. That's nice to know. So this is our... Um, there's a large cooldown on that explosive shot, which is ow, probably what we're going to be looking at upgrading next. Probably want to use my uh, chainsaw once in a while as well. If nothing else, because uh, we get a lot more ammo back from these jokers if we use it. Give me some HP. Not you. Kill that. Kill that. Grenade that. There we go. Now get out of the way. That went better. <laughs> it's not not ideal. Um, we do have 84 health now, actually, so 
I think uh, I'm kind of liking the idea that you can just barge in, beat the crap out of everything, and then, um, okay, so the chainsaw is on one twice, if that makes sense. Someone up there? Yes. Hello. Thank you for the uh, ammo. But now, of course, you have to switch like this. Okay. The chainsaw is one twice, which is where it, kind of where it used to be, I think. Um, it used to be your fists on one, and then the chainsaw would switch. That's a bit of replace your fists, basically, is your melee weapon. Uh, we've got a Praetor token, so I guess maybe we upgrade something. Ooh. When the power-up wears off, a damaging blast wave is released. So what do you mean by this? Come on, give me some, some information. Decrease weapon self-damage, which <laughs> might be good, considering the way I'm using the explosive blast. Quite close up. Switch weapons faster. Not really an issue right now. Exploration items. I mean, that could be good. Again, I think I'm going to try and put points into uh, a consistent build rather than spreading them out every time I've got one, spend one. That seems like... It kind of seems like a good idea and a bad idea. So I'm going to go with the fact that it sounds like a bad idea more than a good idea for now. Have this. Like, I'm not sure what a power-up that wears off might refer to. And wow, grenades take ages to rebuild. Kill this. There we go. Uh, welcome, by the way, to everybody who has joined me from the uh, new community that we have joined, whose exact name I forget. And what I'm going to do is put a link to their website in the. Ooh, you. I'm stuck as well. I'm stuck. Uh, in the description, I'll put a link to the website. Ah. Uh, I feel silly now for having forgotten the name so that I can't just tell you, but... You know what, I'm going to look it up. Give me a second. Very unprofessional of me. Uh, we are talking about the Collaborators Online. That's what we're looking at. It's uh, just a small community, as many of you know, because you've just come from there, of um, YouTubers who are... I guess you call them small time. Not people that have made it big and are making money off of it, basically. Not a huge number of subscriber counts. Not much ammo here, which is not filling me full of happiness at all. Um... Just try and spread the word, give some decent pieces of advice between one another, which is something that I am happy to receive as well as happy to dole out, because it's interesting that it's very easy to be to know enough about something that you can tell people how to do it, much more than you can know how to do it yourself. Do I really want to go in there? It feels very much like a trap. In fact, that feels very much like the uh, alien game came out recently. I watched it on the Yogscast. So yes, welcome to everybody there. Take it's a gift. Thank you. Give you, strength, help you, on your it looks like the Eye of Sauron. If you so. can the power surge. Uh, it's a pretty cool community. Everyone seems to be fairly friendly. Uh, that sounded very derogatory. Everyone does seem very friendly and I'm happy to be part of it. Happy to be invited and um, there is probably a link available to the public in the comments of the first video if you want to go check that out. Uh, if you haven't joined it yourself. So, permanently increases maximum HP capacity. That could be good. Armor capacity or ammo capacity. I am running out of ammo a lot more than I'm running out of health and armor, which is a silly thing to say because obviously I'm dying a lot. But... Let's listen to what he's saying. Argent energy. Green energy. Hmm. I will unlock the remaining Who is this person? Within the facility you know what I expected. Vega, give him what he wants. Yes, please, Vega. 67,000. 61,000. Demonic presence from Mars is critical. According to the records, Dr. Hayden, the invasion originated in the Lazarus facility. It seems that a hell wave was activated, transforming 64% of all UAC employees into the creatures you see roaming throughout the facility. The rest were killed by the demons released from their holding cells by Olivia Pierce. Okay. Thank you for the very... I should apologize for what's mm. happened here. Some of my employees took things too Basil exposition, I believe is the term here. Olivia <coughs> was the cause of all Excuse this. me. Now 
now see in this facility is the cost of the cost progress. progress. But none of that matters now. Okay, so an emergency in the foundry. The regulators have been destroyed and the core temperatures are now destabilized. Well, that was good timing. They've overrun the adjacent facility. If the venting turbines aren't re-engaged, neither of us will survive the meltdown. All right, so we don't know who that person is, but uh, we know that the other person, Olivia Pierce, has been keeping demons, presumably for research, based on what she was saying earlier. Um, and they've all escaped, so everybody's either dead or turned into one of them. We should probably use this map a little bit more often, because there's a couple of things that I've yet to actually discover. Some of which I've probably yet to actually reach. There's a health point over there, which I think is in the old section that we haven't been to yet and there's some armor over here so don't know my challenges and this has actually been quite a long level because of course we started those challenges very early on and i was talking about them at the start of probably episode two early, end of episode one so i mean as much as i'm pleased to have achieved them i kind of wish that this there must be a data log let's go and find it discover the cause so we know what happened and we have some loose excuse by some loose person as to why it all went down. And this robot person seems to believe that the whole point of this facility was to be expendable in the name of research and progress. So we've, uh, we've got a, a data thingy here which we have yet to discover. Where are you? Here? It says here but it could be out there. Let's try outside. Uh, and me as the only surviving marine, it, the fact that our um, character is capable of accepting the overload from the the upgrade that we just got kind of implies that that's something to do with the fact that we survived the whole thing in the first place. Aha. Monsters. Process, possess security too. Here we go. You can read this with the old pause button if you want. I'll click through the things that are currently uh, exclamationing themselves. So these are the things that are going to upgrade us directly um, in terms of capacity for things. Please, should you find an Argent cache, please put your find into departmental enforcer. So that's not going to happen. I'm going to use it directly for myself. We found a Berserk sphere in the previous episode, which was pretty cool. Um, and it actually tells you when it wears off as well. Stream range of increased strength. Which is what we know about. And then there's a couple of tutorials. Fully modded. If you have two mods, it tells you about the R key, which I discovered, rediscovered on my own anyway. Uh, cool. So, as I was saying, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're enjoying the series. And any feedback that you have, as long as it is constructive and not particularly rude, although a certain amount of sass is accepted, um, is well up. I'm a well up for it. It's very gratefully received. Now. Let's focus on this game where I'm jerking my head around like a half-dead chicken. I suspect we're about to end the level. So that means that we will get some more challenges. We've got all our challenges unlocked. Uh, I guess that means we've got all of them. Maybe they'll be a different colour. We didn't get all the secrets. But I believe that we can um, redo a level and try again to actually achieve all of the... the challenges, secrets, etc. that we're supposed to find, which is cool, because in the original Doom, you went through it and you went, here's N% percent achievement, and then that was it. The game was over. This game is very much more designed for each level to be replayable in its entirety, although it was a very long level. I have to press space twice, which is annoying. Um, plus the fact that you can play them in arcade mode, so, as you can imagine, that's going to be um, another way of eking even more value out of each map that they've made, which now I think about it, Sounds kind of lazy, but I guess it's not, because I've been doing that since Kingdom Come anyway. Random drills and stuff. Stop the meltdown. I wonder how long I have. Come in, voice come. Vega? After running That's what we like to see. Diagnostics on the active greater suit, it appears that I can accelerate the upgrading of your arsenal by measuring your combat effectiveness. I have added a tracker to your helmet's display. Participate in combat when our reward weapon upgrade. will not allow you access to the turbine room. Unless the demonic threat level is brought down inside the foundry. Our security systems cannot be overridden. 
So I believe Samuel Hayden is the proprietor of this entire thing. Let's have a look at our challenges as well. Three possess, one barrel. Kill three of the possessed with one explosive barrel. That would be cool. Uh, perform three death from above glory kills. Find two collectibles. I don't know what they mean by collectibles, as in, I know there are many things that are collectible, but I don't know if they specifically mean any particular type, or if any type will do. I'm going to change to... Not this. I'm not going to change just yet. I wonder what our range is on this. As soon as I can say, I'm going to change to a slightly more long range and accurate weapon, i.e. the assault rifle. But maybe that's not what I want. I didn't see what that said. Blue access only. I like the fact that they have red, green, well, coloured. I was going to say red, green and blue. Although I'm pretty sure it's red, yellow and blue in Doom, actually. So, so far, I'm pretty sure it's been red, yellow and blue again. Oh, I accidentally killed that thing. I didn't mean to. I see you. That thing is following me, and I do not appreciate it. No, Diane. Someone was telling me that I think it was forty-two percent health actually. That the um, the ultra-hard version of this game, you have to play the whole thing through, presumably without dying, because you don't get to save in one go. You can't stop. You have to play the whole game in one go. No dying. Yep. Yeah, yellow, blue. Like having the. Uh, That should have exploded when it hit that, I'm just saying. Having the red, yellow, and blue key cards is a really cool touch. I am tempted to jump in there to see what happens, because I'm half assuming, <laughs> half of me thinks that there's probably uh, an achievement for dying horribly like that. I'm trying to uh, conserve some ammo, because it has been an issue for me, but since we got that ammo upgrade, I'm hoping it'll be less so. There's another one right here. They're not even being stingy with these. I mean, you assume that you're supposed to crack it open, but what if you're supposed to just insert it into part of your suit? Now, we might consider... I think this is the point where you try and balance it out, and because each one of those seems to cost one. So you don't have to save up. You just have to find them. And I think that actually makes a big difference when it comes to whether you want to try and go down one path and maximize that, or try and balance out your build a little bit. And that is the theory I'm going with, even if it's complete bullshit. I am sticking with it. So where are we going? Uh, I'd like to kill more things. Somehow we're going to have to achieve our goals. I've really enjoyed the um, atmosphere of this place. It's very orange, actually. So we're still on lockdown. Can we go in here? Is this way you came out? We can go in here now. Could we go in here before? Oh, yeah, okay. We could upgrade our assault rifle with a tactical scope. Which is kind of what I was thinking about just now, actually. Firing the plasma rifle will build up excess heat that can be released as a powerful blast. Electrify protection that stuns demons. I see. So this one builds itself up as you shoot it, and this one is a, a just a shot. I'm actually going to take the tactical, sto tactical scope. Even though this bot clearly has all of those things in it. Uh, and I could have them all if I wanted to. So now my max HP is 125, which is actually great. We've, we've learned about the foundry. The foundry? Foundry. So, some of the most advanced USC equipment. Not quite sure what the foundry is making. Team tattoos. Interesting. Uh, we have learned about the... Tactical scope, and presumably this one is the other one of the two that we could have bought. Uh, it just, well, we'll see what it looks like in a minute. In fact, let's zoom in now. That seems okay. It's a very elaborate way of zooming in on a target, but I'll allow it. Definitely makes this more accurate. I'm gonna try and do that as much as possible. Don't appreciate this particular enemy. That's a new one. Well, it may not have been, I'm not entirely sure. Yep, yeah, I'm enjoying that. Having the accuracy to beat the crap out of them and then just running in and not being zoomed in and uh, shoot them in the face from the hip. 
as it were. Seems pretty cool. I saw her press E. Yeah, let's not do this just yet, because there's a thing to listen to here. Ah! This is a forensic report. So we probably want to... That explains all this. I guess we follow that. That would be a good thing to know about where it went. Do we follow it now? Maybe not right now. There's probably going to be another one of those. We had that in the previous level as well, a thing to follow. Uh, what is this? Security clearance. I probably don't have it. No. Right. I understand. I have to use this to find out that there used to be somebody here who had access, and now we have to go and find them. Presumably take their hand. Uh, guess we're going down there. Core temperature rising, apparently. Oh, here we go. Impact compensation. Fine. I'm okay with it. Breach, please. Thank you. It does feel warm, I'll be honest. I'm not enjoying how much I'm already extremely hot because it's the standard British heat wave that everybody complains about every year going on right now. Yeah, just run through the molten steel, etc. No one's going to mind about that, but it kind of feels like I'm even warmer right now than I already am in real life. Well, we're here, and now we're not, so... I see no value to this particular part of the exercise. Let's just continue in this direction. Hmm. Let's take that quick. I'm kind of tempted to upgrade something that we are... We have got two now. Like, that hasn't happened to me yet, so I'm going to keep a hold of... Keep away from that one. This one costs three. Like, I want another quick charge. Yeah, there's going to be a further one. But... I'll t we could just take this. Like, the compass will pulse when near secret areas. Could be pretty good. Especially if we went back through a level. Uh, with our existing upgrades. So we, let's unlock this tree for now. These are turning up quite commonly anyway, as it turns out. Like, there's, there's a thing up here that we should be able to reach somehow. I think we might want to come back around to that, because I don't know how to get back up to where we just were. Um, also, I want to keep going forwards. Well, we don't have a choice, so I guess we are where we are. I'm playing this like it's Fallout, having a look around, trying to push buttons to make things happen, but I think things that are going to happen are pretty obvious. Even the platforming is fairly clear, although I did spend a little bit longer than I'm proud of in the last episode trying to figure out how to climb a satellite. So this is actually the way up here. So it's the way back, basically. Um, I guess we go over here. Can we climb on that? Probably not. Uh, maybe? Yes. And then we jump over here, and we find ourselves on the other side of this. Which is fine, but I'm also... Uh, no, Q, please. There we go. So we have full plasma, ram plasma rifle ammo. And there's HP here, too. Oh. I was going to say, ready for whatever, whatever's on the other side of this door. But it turns out there is nothing on the other side of this door. So we kind of need to go back over there. What is that? Objective is in that direction. Okay. I'm going to go back and have another look to see if we can figure out how to get that armor. Um, Can we do this? Yes. I'm actually very appreciative that that was possible. Because I don't really want to figure it out myself. Can we move? Well, no. One of the things about original Doom was that, in fact, you could move around while in map mode. It's just both a blessing and a curse. Because it meant you could follow the map while looking at it, but at the same time. There's a thing up there, which I can't open, apparently. I'm wondering if it gets opened by the security person? Hmm. We'll come back to it. Just remember it's there, okay? We don't have a key card yet. So our objective is in that general direction. I hope everybody saluted correctly as a la how I met your mother when I said general direction. Do you want me to go in? No, not in there. Right. A thing that I think would greatly improve such games would be to... Uh, am I on fire? Maybe. Can I just get in here, please? No. Um, 
the map should exist, should extend beyond the places that you can actually go. Because the facility would have a full map, right? It would probably be greyed out. Did I miss something down here? I must have. The map would be, you know, it would be unattainable. It would tell you somehow in a game way to, by feedback that you couldn't actually achieve the thing that you're looking at, but completing the map would be a pretty interesting easter egg because obviously there's going to be more to the facility behind that door than just a corridor that ends but the map doesn't list it even though we got the map from our internal databanks having worked here for all this time being a I mean Vega gave it to us basically really feel like I've missed something obvious we are about that time, so I think what I'll do is have a look around for the obvious thing that I've missed. Obviously everybody will be commenting, shouting at me through the screen telling me what it is that I haven't done, but I don't see it. So, thank you for watching this episode. I hope that you're enjoying it. I hope that people from the new collective are also enjoying it, and I hope that you have some decent feedback for me. But until the next time, thank you for watching. Remember to check out the other videos that we have on the channel, uh, and do subscribe if you want to be notified about the next episodes and such things. So, until next time, I'll see you.